Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmates. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are in this new session. Good this evening. is good evening. This is the session number three. Uh, we are almost done with the first week. Uh, we are like in a very, very fast way. Um, tomorrow we are going to complete the first week and we are just going to have three more weeks to complete this course. And also we are going to complete the section number one and number two on the platform for tomorrow because you know that um, the last day of the week is in uh, which we have this check of the work that we are uh, doing. So remember that you need to work on the platform on section number one and number two for tomorrow. <clears throat> and uh, don't be late. Yes? Okay, it's okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, remember that yesterday we were talking about different questions. Um, and in this case, it are questions uh, related with the WH word. And that WH word is how. And we have an activity that we uh, couldn't perform yesterday because of the time, but now we are going to do it. We have a list of questions that we are going to ask to the partner that we have on the, um, the meeting. And in this case, I have a lot of questions that we can ask, but in this case, it is not uh, something very serious. It's some kind of a game. And we uh, are going to decide what kind of questions we can uh, have in this case. And if you can hear some questions that are not related to the uh, WH word, don't worry. It's just a game. Vamos a ver preguntas con diferentes WH words y también con how. Así que no es... Um, algo tan estricto que vamos a utilizar solo el how, sino que vamos a utilizar eh, diferentes WH words y diferentes estructuras para hacer nuestras preguntas. So in this case, we have like different categories that we are going to use for these, um, for these questions. Uh, the end of the game, at the end of the activity, I'm uh, going to add all the questions that I uh, have on my list. So you are going to see all the questions uh, on the document tomorrow. Remember that I'm going to send to you the link of the document tomorrow. So I'm just waiting for more people to come to the meeting and we are going to begin in a couple of minutes. I think one of two minutes and we are going to begin with the activity. <clears throat> Okay, I think we are more in this moment. So we are going to begin. Remember that we have this activity. Vamos a hacer un, eh, no lo vamos a elegir directamente, eh, decir, ah, you and you and you, sino que vamos a eh, write on the chat one letter. Vamos a escribir una letra que se nos venga a la mente cuando hablamos del de abecedario. Una letra. The letter that has the most uh, comments is the letter of the person that is going to begin with the questions. So in this case, if all of you write the letter B, for example, we are going to uh, search for someone that has a B on his or her name. And that is the first person that is going to uh, begin with the question then that person is going to choose another one to um, continue with the questions. 
Vamos a ir poniendo en el chat la eh, letra que se nos venga a la mente del abecedario. Si hay más de dos, más de tres, o la mayoría son esa misma letra, esa va a ser la letra de la persona que va a comenzar. Vamos a buscar si tiene esa letra en su nombre. Si no, vamos a seguir con la siguiente letra que tenga más eh, mensajes. Entonces, comenzamos poniendo la letra que se le venga a la mente y vamos a ir haciendo el conteo para ver quién va a comenzar con las preguntas. Let's see. I have two A's. Tengo dos A. Muy bien. Two L. Oh. Ok. Ok, ok. Oh, tengo tres L. M, M. Let's see, let's see. I see another M. Three M, three L. Oh, wow. Z. Let's see, let's see. No, I don't have another Z. Three A, three L, three M. Oh, my God. We have three. Oh. I think I don't have O. Let's see, another O. No. Tenemos un triple empate con la letra A, la letra M y la letra L. Let me check again. One, one two, and let me see, let me see, three. Tenemos tres A, L, 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 tres L, exactamente. Tenemos M, M, M. Tenemos letra A, letra L y letra M. Para los que se van incorporando en la reunión, estamos haciendo eh, el inicio de la dinámica de las preguntas. Estamos poniendo una letra del abecedario que se nos venga a nosotros a la mente. Y eh, estamos haciendo el conteo de quién va a ser la persona que va a iniciar con las preguntas. En este caso tenemos un triple empate con la letra L, la letra A y la letra M. De los que acaban de incorporarse pueden escribir cualquiera de esas tres letras, la A, la L y la M, para ver quién es el que empieza, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería la letra ganadora? Así que les voy a dar a couple of seconds to write the letter. If not, we are going to make like a votation or something like that. Let's see. One more word. I mean, one more letter. Mm -hmm. Can you please someone send another letter? I mean, Yes, another letter from A, M, or L. L, ok, thank you. Quiere decir que la letra L es la ganadora. Let me see. Who has an L on his or her name? I saw, I have one, two, mm -hmm. two, yes, two people with the letter L in the first name, in el primer nombre, letra L in el primer nombre. I see, yes, porque también hay otra persona con la letra L en su segundo nombre. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need help. Vamos a ver, voy a enumerarlas yo sin que ustedes sepan quién es número uno, número dos y número tres. Pero ya tengo uno, dos y tres. Aunque, mm, vamos a, yeah, vamos a hacer los números tres. Son tres personas. ¿Quién debería de empezar? Number one, number two, or number three. Number one, number two. Number three, oh my God, number two, number three, number two. Number one. 
two, one, two. I think it is the number two. <laughs> number two. Okay, I think number two is the chosen one. Number two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Uh, yes. And number one, we have one and two, three, four. Number three, we have just two. But it's the number two. Número dos será la persona elegida para comenzar. Let me choose the question and I'm going to call your name. I have here the questions. So let me find a good question for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to begin with this question. Remember that this is a game. It is not like too serious. Uh, I'm going to ask this question to Lil Herrera. You are the chosen one. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. This is the Good question evening. for you. Okay. Who will win in a fight between Superman and Batman? I like Superman because it's stronger. Oh, he's stronger. Very good. Now, it's your turn to choose one or your parents. Usted puede escoger a alguien más y vamos a ir haciendo las preguntas así. Así que usted puede escoger a alguno de sus compañeros aquí presentes. Ok, ahorita. Ok, ok. Henry. Henry. Okay, thank you. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, this good is evening. the question. Listen carefully. If animals could talk, which one will be the broadest? ¿Quién sería el más rudo, el más grosero de los animales? Um, the animal is Leon. Why? Um, because um, is big, eh, stronger, eh, no sé. <laughs> Podría ser el más enojado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Escoja otro de sus compañeros. Uh, 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 uh. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hello. Hello. This is your question. Which would you prefer to have as a your roommate? A goat or a bird? ¿Qué preferiría tener como compañero de habitación? ¿Una cabra o un ave? Uh. I prefer a parrot. <laughs> a parrot? Yes. It could be very funny. Yes. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like uh, his songs. <laughs> that... Ah, it's very, it's very good. Um, if he, if he uh, talk. Ah, it's very talkative. You, you're not going to be bored in that space. That's very good. Okay, thank you. Can you please tell me another name? Um, Nazario. Nazario, okay. Hi, thank you. Hello, this is your question. If you could be in any movie, what will it be? Si pudiera estar en cualquier película, ¿cuál sería? Well, good evening, everyone. Well, to be honest with you, I think that in everyone, I don't have anything special. But I love, to be honest with you, I love uh, about uh, 
Love nature. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, thank right. you. Can you tell me a name? Asia. Asia, okay. my name. Okay, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, Asia. Sorry, Asia. No, this is for <laughs> everyone. Okay. okay. This is your question. If you were a fruit, what fruit would you be? Si usted fuera una fruta, ¿qué fruta le gustaría ser? Um, well, my favorite fruit is um, mango. Oh, the mango. Yeah. Green or sweet? Verde, maduro, uh, entre... Sweet. Sweet, sweet, ya dulce, sweet. ¿verdad? Yeah, Maduro. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. Very, very good. Okay, can you choose another of your uh, parents? Um, Eneida. Eneida. Eneida, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, this is the question. What is the most annoying color? ¿Cuál es el color más molesto? The color orange. Orange. Why? Yes. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué es el más molesto? Um, no, no, gusta. no, no le gusta. Ah, ok. Thank you. Um, ¿Me puede decir el nombre de alguno de sus compañeros aquí presentes? Um, Nazario Chávez. Another one. Él ya contestó la pregunta. Um, Pamela. Pamela. Ok, thank you. Pamela. Okay. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Ok, this is the question. What superhero or villain would make the best therapist? ¿Qué superhéroe o qué villano sería un buen terapeuta? Capitán América. Ah, why? Because he listens to the people that for help us. Ah, okay, very good. That is a, a good um thing about him. Thank you. Muy bien, excelente. Who will be the next participant? ¿Quién sería el siguiente? Um, eh, Claudia García. Claudia. Good evening. Good evening. Let me search for a question for you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. If you could be a fly on the wall, who would you want to listen in on? Si usted fuera una mosquita que está por ahí en alguna pared, ¿a quién le gustaría escuchar? I would be like to her to Chayam because oh. she's my favorite uh, singer. Oh, that's very good. I think a lot of people could think about something like that. That's very good. I agree with that idea. Okay, next yeah. one. ¿Quién sería el siguiente? Um, Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. 
Let me look for a question for you. We are almost done. Vamos a, a tratar de terminarlo rápido porque nos vamos a quedar sin tiempo y tenemos que hacer un pequeño quiz. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, uh, um. mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite TV show growing up? ¿Cuál es su o cuál fue su eh, programa televisivo favorito mientras usted crecía? Oh, sorry. Um, de el juego de la oca. El juego de la oca. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Me regala otro nombre. Carla Eugenia. Okay, Carla. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is one thing that you will change about your daily routine? Una cosa que le gustaría cambiar de su rutina diaria. Um... Wake, wake up early. Ah, wake up early. I'm going to do, to say the same thing too. Yes, of course. <laughs> I agree with your idea. That's yes. I I would like to change that too. Okay, thank you. The last uh, person. Vamos a escoger a la última persona. Um, uh, Caleb, Ari Caleb Ariel. Caleb. Hello. Hello, good evening. Okay. What is the most useless invention of all time? ¿Cuál es el invento que no tiene mucho uso, el que decimos nosotros, pero eso no sirve para mucho, de todo el tiempo? The most useless invention. What do you think it is? I don't know because every every invent is important for me, I think. Mm, mm. But it's something that you say, ah, yes, it has um something to do, but we can live without it. Mm, I don't know. Um I, I, I nothing think about this. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to change the question then. What is the most use, uh, useful thing or invention on our time? ¿Cuál es la cosa o, 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 la mejor in, o el mejor invento de todos los tiempos entonces? What do you think it is? Mm, I think the internet. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I think it is. It's one of the most useful things. Okay, yeah. thank you very much for your participations. Thank you all of you uh, for this activity because we have different uh, questions. In this case, you can um, use this kind of questions to um, create a good, um, we can say like a good meeting with people that you are meeting. This kind of question, you can use it, uh, as I said yesterday, as a icebreaker. When you are going to have a meeting and you need to talk with the uh, people that is in that place and you feel kind of nervous, you can ask this kind of question. It could be kind of weird, but at the end, um, you are going to feel 
better with yourself and with the people that is in that place. Son preguntas eh, para romper el hielo, para empezar con una reunión, para irse divirtiendo, porque no son preguntas muy serias, sino que nos dan la pauta para eh, pensar alguna respuesta, como lo de los héroes, los villanos, and things like that. So it's like a, a very good thing. So we are going to go to the platform. Vamos a ir a la plataforma. Y vamos a completar el Knowledge Check 1.11. Vamos a, a completar el 1.11 y luego vamos a hacer un pequeño quiz that is related to eh, health and fitness. Vamos a hacer un pequeño examen eh, que tiene que ver sobre la salud y el ejercicio. Vamos a ver cuántos puntos nos sacamos en ese, en ese quiz. Esto es individual, ¿verdad? No es como que nos, nos los va a evaluar la plataforma, sino que es un ejercicio para cada uno de nosotros. Así que vamos a empezar with the knowledge at 1.11 that is related to the questions. So we are going to start with something very serious and then we are going to make um, another thing. So we have the instructions. Complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answers. Choose from how often, how well, how good, and how long. Son extensiones de nuestra pregunta, del how. Aquí, how often, qué tan seguido, how well, qué tan bien, eh, how good, qué tan bueno eres en algo, and how long, cuánto tiempo, ¿verdad? O, eh, qué tan lejos o qué tan largo es eh, alguna de las cosas. So, we are going to choose between how often, how well, how good, and how long. Tenemos ahí la primera. Eh, number one, at volleyball. Sabemos que estamos hablando de un deporte. Y la respuesta es, I guess, I'm pretty good. I often played on weekends. Number two, spent online. Estamos hablando de tiempo. About an hour after dinner, I like to catch, uh, I like to chat with my friends. Sobre uh, acerca una, de una hora después de la cena, me gusta mensajearme con mis amigos. Number three, play cards. Están hablando de un juego, ¿verdad? Once or twice a month. Una o dos veces al mes. It's a good way to relax. Es una buena manera de relajarnos. Egg number four, that is the last one. Type. Tipo, pero no sabemos qué más. Pero nuestra respuesta es, not very well. Actually, I need to take a typing class. Aquí ya tenemos nuestra idea. No es tipo, es typing. Es hablar de eh, escribir, ¿verdad? En una máquina o en un teclado. So, we are going to think about the question that is better for this um, answers and we are going to say what is the best option. Así que vamos a tener uno o dos minutos para pensar cuál es la mejor opción. You are going to tell me what is the best option for these um, questions and we are going to continue with the exercise. So we have two minutes to choose what is the best option. Dos minutos para escoger la mejor opción de nuestra pregunta. Okay, let's see. 
Vamos a ver, para la primera pregunta que habla de voleibol, what is the best option? How well? How often? How good are you? How good, how well, how often? ¿Tenemos? How, how often? How often? How good. How good and how well. Oh my God. How, how, well. Good. how good, how well, how often? How good, say someone else. How good. How good. Okay, vamos a tratar con how good. Salieron varias respuestas. Vamos a ver, how good. Uh, we have another one, how good. Another one, how often. How good. Vamos a tratar con how good. Mm -hmm. How good are you, say someone else. We are going to complete. Number two, spent online. Estamos hablando de tiempo en línea. We have here, how often, how long, how often, how long do you, how long, how long, how long, how long, okay. How long do you, okay. Number three. Number three, play cards. How often, okay? How often? Just how often or can I add something else? Do you, do you play cards, okay? And the last one, type. Estamos hablando de el tipeo, ¿verdad? Typing. How well, okay. How well do you? Okay, vamos a ver las respuestas. Let's see. Oh, we have one wrong. Tenemos una mala. ¿Será que le puse mucho espacio? I think. I think, I think. It's the space. Oh, it is not the space. To be honest with you, teacher. Mm -hmm. I... Your microphone. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. Do you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Thank you. I have this problem in this question in the last part of the first section. Okay. I, I couldn't I, I couldn't complete this part uh, exactly in this question. Uh, I don't know why I was trying to complete, but I couldn't. So I is the question that I have to you for the last of the class, to be <laughs> honest with you. But we have right now. But the, you will, the... <laughs> yeah. You can help me just right now. Yes, with, of course. With the, other, with the other classmate, please. Yes. So we are going to check what is the problem with this, um, with this question. ¿Cuál creen ustedes? No sé si alguien más ya pasó por esta eh, sección que nos puede decir si tuvo el mismo problema o si la respondió correctamente antes de revisarla a profundidad. ¿Alguien ya pasó por acá? Mi teacher. Tell me, ¿tuvo el mismo problema o ya la completó? No. ¿También le dio el mismo problema? I have uh, the same problem. Ah, ok. El mismo problema, dice. Oh, no, son, no es solo uno. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> ¿Alguien más? 
It's not me, teacher. <laughs> it's not only you. <laughs> it's not me. Yes. Right. Someone else? Alguien más que haya tenido el mismo problema? O alguien que ya lo resolvió? I think nobody. Oh. Sí, dice, ven, ya la mayoría está diciendo que tuvieron el mismo problema. No es solo uno. Ahora se siente más acompañado con el problema. Ok, vamos a ver cuál es la eh, situación con esta pregunta. Pues básicamente nosotros podemos decir que está correcta, ¿verdad? Teacher. Dígame. Fíjese que yo en, la, en el módulo anterior en, en la plataforma igual tuve el problema con dos preguntas uh -huh. y yo le pregunté a mis compañeros y nadie supo contestarme, ¿verdad? Pero yo no sé si la plataforma es la que está dando ese tipo de problemas que no le aceptan ninguna respuesta porque yo intenté en el, la plataforma en el módulo pasado con todos los nombres que venían en la... Porque era de leer algo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Con todos los nombres de las personas que ahí venían y no me daba ninguna buena. Sí, la cuestión es que a veces eh, eh, la, en la plataforma se ponen como las... Eh, varias opciones, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan escribir las respuestas. La cuestión es que a veces es como bien sensible porque en algunas um, respuestas, si se le pone mucho espacio, si se le puso un punto de más, si el apóstrofe que le estamos poniendo no va para el lado que ya está establecido en la plataforma, por más que lo intentemos, nos la tira mala. Y a veces hay unas que de verdad quizás el, el sistema como igual estuvo dando bastantes problemas en, el, en los módulos anteriores, que no abría, que el ejercicio no aparecía, que no se escuchaba el audio. Entonces estuvo dando problemas también con algunos eh, ejercicios. Pero por eso es necesario que cuando encuentren ejercicios así, eh, traten de comunicarse directamente con alguien de... Bueno, ustedes saben que en el grupo siempre hay una, una persona encargada que se presenta, ¿verdad? Y le dice, si ustedes tienen problemas, pueden contactarse conmigo. Entonces ahí ustedes le dicen, mire, yo tengo problemas con esto, y le adjuntan una captura, ¿verdad? Para que ellos puedan solventarles también. Ahora, alguien más nos tiró una, una uh, posible respuesta. How well are you? How well are you? En lugar de do, podemos cambiar a are. Vamos a ver si nos las acepta. How well are you? I think it is not working. Ah. Nope. Are is not the answer. Mm -mm. ¿Qué le podríamos poner en lugar de do? The are. Otra opción que tengamos en lugar de do y de are. Did. Tenemos can y tenemos. Did you type? Did. How well uh, did you can. type? Mm, vamos a probar con did. No, vamos a probar con can. And let's see. That's the correct option. Ahí está la respuesta correcta. Can. Que también puedes. Que también puedes escribir en estos dispositivos. Ahora ya no vamos a tener mala esa respuesta. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Así vamos a estar haciendo con los knowledge check. Lo vamos a estar haciendo en las sesiones por si hay problemas con alguna de las oraciones o si no hemos logrado terminarlas. Por eso es que lo vamos haciendo así para que ustedes también tengan oportunidad de ver um, si hay algún error con las de ustedes, ir agregándolas, arreglándolas para que ya no, la, no les aparezcan incorrectas. All right. Okay. Ok, vamos a lo siguiente. Now, we are going to see the quiz. Vamos a resolver el quiz que aparece aquí al final. This is the health and fitness quiz. What we are going to do? It says, take the quiz and add up your score in a piece of paper. But in this case, you can do it in your cell phone. And 
find out how fit you are. Vamos a tomar el quiz, vamos a sumar nuestro puntaje y vamos a descubrir qué tan en forma estamos. Mm, very interesting. I'm going to move for another um, uh, window in this case, but because I need to do it like kind of bigger, like this. But if you have problems seeing this image very well, can uh, I, I think I can send this image to the group. What do you think? Um, ¿Envío la imagen directamente al grupo de WhatsApp o estamos bien así? ¿La logramos ver bien? We have in the platform this image, mm -hmm. teacher. Yes, but I... I think that we can check yes. in the platform. You can check in the platform, but I think that uh, there are some people that are using their devices to be on the meeting, so that's why I am asking. But you can look for the image on the platform right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a tener aproximadamente unos, I think, five to eight minutes, de cinco a ocho. You are not in the group. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. If you can go to the group, someone that is in the group, can you please send the link on the chat? Alguien que esté en el grupo de WhatsApp, si es tan amable de compartirnos el link en el chat para que ella pueda agregarse. Wait a minute, please. Ok, thank you. Ya van a enviar el, el enlace para que usted pueda unirse al grupo. So, we are going to have from A42 to, I think, A48 or A50 to complete the quiz. Ya nos compartieron el enlace por ahí. Thank you. Tenemos de las 8.48 a las 8.50 para terminar nuestro quiz y dar nuestros resultados, ¿verdad? Así que comenzamos respondiendo y sumando nuestros puntos. Ahí se anda el Thank you. Thank you.
I can see the last part teacher of the question number six and 12, maybe. There it is. Um, it's not, it's not clear again. I couldn't see the last part. If you can see right now, like this? No. No. Yes. Maybe. It's better. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I got it. Okay. It's almost time. We have just one more minute. Un minuto más para terminar con nuestros resultados. Okay, it's time. Let's see. What is the, the points? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cuáles fueron nuestros puntajes? Who wants to begin? Me, teacher. Tell me. I am in the average. I got 40 points. 40, okay. Exactly. But you are in a Good level, okay, very good. Okay. Who else? You can uh, write it also on the chat. Ustedes también pueden escribirlo en el chat, no se preocupen. Pueden ir poniendo por ahí más o menos como está su puntaje. Okay, we have here 39. Uh, but in this case, Yes, above the average. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. 31. 
But you are good. You are in the average, uh, above the average. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it's funny because I have the same points. Twenty six. Okay. We are in the same in the same level. Forty five. But it is not bad. You are above the average. Thirty what points. About your average teacher. I have thirty points. I am below the average. You are okay. <laughs> I think uh, the the worst thing here is that I didn't sleep well, so I don't have the eight hours of sleeping. And I think many of you didn't have that time too. And in some cases, is that why we have like a very uh, low average of fitness? Or some, or maybe also the um, the physical exam. We don't have like that exam all the years. Fifteen. Wow. But on weekend, but on weekend, on weekend you can sleep. The the uh, my sleeping log is kind of crazy. Um. <laughs> It's, I don't know, it's like um, I go to sleep very late at night and I go, I wake up very early on the morning because I need to go to the job and I, I need to uh, get there early because I am working with uh, children. So they are like very anxious if, if we are late on, on the space that um, they are, so I need to be very, very early with them because they are like, it is normal for the other kids to uh, start their classes at 8 a.m. because they are kindergarten kids. But in the place that I am working right now is at 7 a.m., so one hour the difference. But mm -hmm. in that case, uh, they are on the school but in this case it's a private school but they are in school at six story it's 45 it's very very early for the kids too so in that case i need to get up very early to stay with the kids at the time that they are getting to the to the school so i am just sleeping maybe four or five hours in some cases so it is a it is not big deal <laughs> i think okay we have Bye. some Take care. i have someone in this case carla have 50 points tiene 50 puntos wow excellent job congratulations yes, teacher. that's very very uh, good because not all of <laughs> As have that kind of points. Yo creo que nadie más obtuvo 50 puntos. Nadie oh, más. Nobody. Nobody. Just. She is the queen. Maybe in one year, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It could be. Maybe in one year. It could be possible. It could be possible. Of course, it could be possible. Okay. So this is the end of the section number one, and we are going to go to the section number two. Remember that in the case that we are not completing all the topics in this session or uh, the session that we have tomorrow, you need to complete the, um, the knowledge check that we have on the section number two. But we are just making like reviews of the topics and also of the knowledge check that we have on the platform. In this case, we're going to uh, begin the section number two with a conversation uh, about two people and the activities they did during the past week. So in this case, we can see that we are going to talk about past. We are going to use that 
tense for this uh, section. But we are going to end the session with the conversation. Vamos a escuchar la conversación. Vamos a ir viendo cómo utilizan el pasado. Y I think it is going to be the end of the uh, session because we have just four or three minutes. So we are going to listen. I'm going to share with you the screen and we are going to listen that conversation. But I need to move this one and this one and we're going to listen this conversation. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. No, we didn't. Okay, we have here the conversation. Did you do anything special? Han hecho algo especial? And we are talking about the weekends. So we have two people talking uh, about the things that they did in the weekend. We have uh, Rick and Meg, and we have the beginning. So what did you do last weekend? That is like the, the question that we are going to use for this topic. What did you do last weekend? Oh, I had a great time. I went to the to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. She was having fun. That sounds like fun. Did you go to the Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. So in this case, we can um, see two different people doing their activities during the weekend. We have someone that goes to the karaoke and she was having fun. And in the other side, we have a, a person that likes to stay in home, don't like to go anywhere on the weekends because in some cases is the time that we have um, for resting or doing the things in our houses. But also he was studying for the test. But I think she is not going to worry because uh, he said that she gets always A's for the exams. So I need you to think about um, what kind of people are you? The people that likes to go outside, that uh, goes to different places on weekends, or you are the kind of people that like to stay at home on the weekends. And we are going to have a discussion about um, that thing tomorrow. Our question for tomorrow is, what did you do last weekend? Así que mañana vamos a tener una pequeña discusión al iniciar la sesión de qué hicieron el fin de semana y si son personas a las que les gusta salir durante ese tiempo o de los que les gusta quedarse en casa. So, we are going to end the session here and we are going to see each other tomorrow. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow good night. night. See you good night. Tomorrow, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you.